Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S8 and the iPhone 10 brought us the first popular all-screen phones in 2017. But these devices were hardly perfect. The S8 had big top and bottom bezels, and the iPhone 10 had a wide notch at the top of the display. Both of these devices were then copied by almost every company in the business in the first half of 2018 until smartphone makers started coming up with new designs of their own to increase the size of the screen. We saw all screen phones with pop-up cameras, slider phones, as well as devices with front and rear displays so a selfie camera wasn't necessary. A selfie camera is really what these design compromises are all about. Smartphone makers however are already developing actual all screen devices where the front cameras and sensors are hidden underneath the display and Samsung may beat everyone to market by launching this novel technology on a mass marketed mainstream handset, the Galaxy S21 aka the Galaxy S30. Ice Universe as you know is the go to guy for Samsung related stuff tweeted that Samsung is considering using the under display camera technology on the Galaxy S21 first. The company is reportedly checking the feasibility of the feature for the next generation Galaxy S series smartphone. And if all goes right, then the Galaxy S21 will be the first one to use this technology. Right now, the biggest problem with the implementation of this tech is the insufficient lighting which is affecting the camera quality. You see, the area of the screen where the front camera lies needs to have enough pixels to display content with accurate colors, but at the same time, there should be enough gap between the display pixels for the light to pass through. Oppo and Xiaomi have already showcased prototype devices with this technology and the problem they are facing is the exact same thing I've just mentioned. They are unable to leave enough pixels on the display for sufficient light to pass through and as a result the photos taken with these devices is blurry and washed out. But Samsung is the master of OLED technology. If anyone can overcome this hurdle it has to be them because they are the one who make OLED panels for almost everyone. Also, there is one more problem. As seen on Oppo's prototype, the hidden camera sensor is somewhat visible in some scenarios, particularly when lighter colors like white or light gray are displayed on the screen. I hope Samsung's version doesn't do this because it will get annoying and will defeat the whole purpose of under display camera technology. In any case, it's worth mentioning that it's not confirmed just yet that the Galaxy S21 will surely come with this new technology. Ice Universe specifically mentions that Samsung is considering using this tech on the S21 and I hope everything goes right and S21 will be the first one to use this tech. A few days ago, we saw the first look of the Galaxy Buds B which to be honest looks like a hearing aid rather than a multimedia earphone. And now we are hearing from South Korean media that this new kidney bean edition of the Galaxy Buds will offer something that many Samsung fans wish the Galaxy Buds Plus did, the active noise cancellation, which is kinda surprising since this device doesn't have a silicon tip. Anyway, the Korean media also mentions the price and it will be less than $150. To be exact, they are saying it will be priced at $140. That's cheaper than the Galaxy Buds Plus and the good thing is they are launching this alongside the Galaxy Note 20 due to be unveiled in August. Of course, with that being said, do let me know your thoughts down in the comments and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.